If you're seeing an error for too many redirects on your WordPress site and can't get access, do not worry as it's a common error and in this video we're going to go through a few ways on how we can fix it and find out what might have caused it too. Before we jump in and start troubleshooting our website for issues, the first thing we can do is look at the web browser we're using and see if we need to clear its cookies and cache. If you can access your site from another browser and everything looks normal, then you need to clear the original browser's cookies and cache. There is a link in the description to get a detailed guide on how to clear browser cache in all major browsers. I'll just show you a quick example with Google Chrome. With Chrome open, all you have to do is click on Chrome at the top left and then on clear browsing data. Check the boxes for cookies and cache and then hit the clear data button. You should now be able to access the website. If this didn't fix the issue for you, then let's move on to the next step. The most common cause of the too many redirects issue is a plugin conflict on your WordPress site. This is usually a plugin trying to set up a redirect that conflicts with the default WordPress redirects. The good news is that there is a quick way to troubleshoot and fix this issue. What you need to do is deactivate all WordPress plugins. Normally you can do this through the plugins area on the WordPress dashboard, but as you probably can't access the dashboard, our next step is to deactivate WordPress plugins using an FTP client or file manager app in your hosting control panel. We have a great video on how to get set up with an FTP client. The link to that is in the description below. And a little later in this video, I'll show you how to access files through your hosting provider's file manager. Once you've connected to your website using the FTP client, we need to go into the folder WP content. Now we can see the plugins folder. To deactivate the plugins, all we need to do is rename this folder to plugins.deactivate. Because we have renamed the plugin folder, WordPress won't be able to find it and will automatically deactivate all the plugins. Now you can try visiting your website and if you're able to log into the site, this means that one of the plugins was causing the error. To see which plugin it is, head back to the FTP client and rename the plugins.deactivate folder back to plugins. Hop back over to the WordPress dashboard and click on plugins in the menu. From here, it's just a matter of activating your plugin and visiting your site to see if it causes the error. Repeat that until you find which plugin it is. There are a couple of options from here. You can either look for an alternative plugin to use on your site or contact the plugin support team and report the issue. Another major cause of the too many redirects error is a misconfiguration in the WordPress URL settings. Normally these can be found by going to settings, then general in the WordPress dashboard. For most sites, the URLs in WordPress address and site address here have to be the same. If they are not, then they can cause the redirect error. To troubleshoot this when we can't access the site, we need to connect to an FTP client again or use a file manager. When connected to your site in the FTP client, go into the WP content folder, then into themes, find your themes folder and go into that. From here, we need to find the function.php file. Right click on that and you should be able to edit the file in a plain text editor like notepad or text edit. Add the following code to the bottom of the file. This code can be found in the video description as well. Save the file to your website and try visiting the site to see if that resolved the error. If fixing the WordPress URLs doesn't work, then the next thing we can look at is resetting the htaccess file. This is a special file that is used by the website server to manage redirects and other server settings. Sometimes WordPress plugins make changes to the htaccess file, which can cause this error. To fix this, we need to manually reset the wordpress.htaccess file. This time I'm going to show you how to access the file through the file manager on my WordPress hosting control panel. Now I'm going to show you this through Bluehost, but this should be something that you can access through your hosting provider's dashboard. Once you log into Bluehost, you want to go to Advanced. This opens your hosting cPanel, which has a lot of features that help you change settings on your website. As you can see, the file manager is here under the file section, but it can also be found under the advanced option in the menu too on the left. Click on the file manager and this will open a new tab. With the file manager now open, we want to find our public underscore HTML folder. As that is where our WordPress site files are stored, we can see it here in the column on the left of the screen. Click on the public underscore HTML folder. We can now see all the files that are contained in the folder in this section here. Your .htaccess file should be somewhere close to the top of this list of files. When you have found it, 
right click on it and download a copy of it as a backup. Now all we need to do is delete this file from the website. After you've done that, try visiting the website and if everything works normally, this means your .htaccess file was causing the redirect error. What we need to do now is log into our WordPress dashboard and make sure our website has recreated the .htaccess file. To do that, go to settings in the menu area on the left, hover over that and click permalinks. Simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click save changes. You should now have a new htaccess file. I really hope this video has helped you fix the too many redirects error on your WordPress website. If none of these steps fixed your error, then the next thing to do is to contact your hosting company and make sure there are no server issues. If you like this video and you want to learn more about redirects in WordPress, then check out this beginner's guide to creating redirects in WordPress. It really is awesome. Thanks for watching.